recently over the weekend the april um easter celebration at Bergheim happened right the um i forgot what the term is i had to say in german is it the oster club nut i think oster whatever it's called easter in germany happened right and they had the easter weekend Bergheim had an incredible flipping weekend i think it kind of stretched from saturday all the way until monday maybe early tuesday crazy event loads of big djs playing all the rooms open crazy fun one of the people who performed there is the legend known as LSD XOXO. And he performed there, and I guess he maybe has upset some people who are big fans of Berkheim and big fans of techno because he kind of now, I guess, in their eyes, occupies this kind of TikTok techno genre, which if you don't know, is not a good term. It's a disparaging term because it essentially applies to these one side is really hot looking girls who are kind of skinny and wear kind of, you know, scantily clad outfits and always look really sad, wear loads of black and play these kind of Britney Spear edits, top Britney Spear, tick techno, trancey edits of like popular tracks. And it's kind of really fast and for no reason, basically no groove, kind of just bah, 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 bah. everyone stomping and everyone wearing kind of Y2K type of trendy glasses and whatnot, right? cool tiktok techno is something people don't really like in a greater scheme of things because they feel like it waters down it cheapens what techno is it's not about the culture blah 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 it's about kids going to going you know to clubs and dressing up just for the image don't really care about the music etc 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 anyway lsd lsd xoxo plays that kind of music I, I think it's a bit unfair to kind of lump him within the techno tiktok twitter kind of space but if you want to just you know box somebody in and basically give them some level of a genre that basically is the best way to describe him and i guess the people over there didn't like it the thing that i like about it is best is like the reviews have been pretty terrible right and i feel like he's kind of leaning into it a little bit because people didn't like his set they thought he was playing horrible they didn't like it in the slightest and i feel like he's leaning into it because of this instagram post that he posted right of himself outside of Berghain. And if you're not seeing the picture, it's him stood outside the burger and the classic club post that most DJs do when they after they played or before they go play. Um, and usually they'll write a really big gushing caption, which I will do when I eventually do play there. My caption will be a fucking anthology. They write this massive flipping caption being really soppy and lovey about Bergheim and what it means for them and their mother one day told them it was a dream that they had that they knew he was going to make it. All this nonsense. X, LSD XOXO just said that was cute at Berghain, right? And then the picture he used is this picture where he enlarged his head to look like a flipping rat, Bratz doll. I'm not too sure if he did it as a kind of um, nod to him being big headed or if it was just him doing a little nod to the Bratz dolls that people kind of have, you know, a thing for. But regardless, right, I thought that post was hilarious, especially the kind of one line caption and the picture. But I've got to read to you the reviews, right? The reviews of him playing are legitimately hilarious and kind of go back to the title of the podcast and why I think not caring is a new caring and why not caring actually is the coolest thing that you can do and may speak to overall this kind of general new vibe that these kids nowadays have. I don't think unless the XO is that young anyway. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't, but he's just got young energy. And I really do think this approach to playing at Berghain is way more cooler than kind of getting on your knees and sucking the building off. So this is what somebody said, right, about um, LSDXOXO set and how he played there. He said the few, he said, <laughs> this person said the following, right? I don't think anyone is feeling threatened by LSDXO. Instead, concerned about the future of what was the best techno club in the world and the message that he wants to send or the attitude he has towards it. He has a great opportunity to play in Berkheim, which every DJ's dream, and he doesn't seem to take it seriously at all. He came on 10 minutes late. He was keeping himself busy on the phone behind the DJ in the DJ booth and then playing four hours of pure cheesiness an extreme selection of rare gems from his past. If you search on spotify hot hits 2000 playlist with a crossfade enabled you can get the same results as he set it is not only a matter of music selection but also of mixing skill and in case you have it and a bit of soul and passion and emotion that dj set from lsd xoxo had none of the above plus you play straight after a nothing but deep and groovy captivating flawless dj set from renee wise big up renee wise my g which will lead you to only a bit of frustration you are not shaking conservatives you are a poisonous soul 
<laughs> now remember, I'm pretty sure this person isn't employed by the Bergheim. They're not employed by Bergheim. They're just a regular punter like you and I. Just a regular civilian. And they are capping. They are white knighting so hard for a club that couldn't give a single F about this person. And here they are, essentially sucking off the entire building and acting like a flipping white knight Bergheim saber her because lsdxo turned up to the flipping bergheim 10 minutes late decided to be on his phone the whole time playing candy crush or browsing instagram or perusing grinder or whatnot right and then just you know phoning in the set i love that energy as much as i want to play in that space i also think the flipping the self-important kind of vibe that people have there where they legitimately think a part of their personality is a, a crucial part of their personality is being somebody that goes to clubs and whatnot especially that sort of club the kind of people especially at Berghain or when they go to Berlin who have a phone like I do with this sort of clear plastic clear case right and when you go to Berghain usually they, they cover your phone with loads of stickers your, your phone camera so you don't take pictures in the club and whatnot a lot of people would basically on purpose like you know how people with with wristbands and festivals where they'll go to festivals and they wouldn't ever take the wristbands off some people will go to berlin or Bergheim, these kind of places and purposely get the stickers all over their phone and never take them off their phone case so that's how people that legitimately have a personality based on clubbing and stuff they're the ones that are capping and saying all this nonsense so it's quite nice and quite refreshing legitimately refreshing to have somebody like lsdxo come out and essentially play the club dust turn up like any other gig that he's playing in whether it's in Zurich whether it's in Paris or Bogota and just do the bare minimum and kind of clock in and clock out I love that energy I absolutely love that energy ironically don't get me wrong if I went there and I queued for four hours and I went in eventually and he's basically playing a, another edit of some Christina Aguilera Britney Spears Rihanna flipping techno song that's blowing up on Instagram I'm gonna be annoyed but as a punter on the outside in looking at it from the outside looking at LSDXO who have always been a fan of and love his productions i love that kind of energy i absolutely love that he's rattled these people online so much that they legitimately are taking up arms for Bergheim and saying that he doesn't represent us and he doesn't represent the scene and blah 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 but the truth of it is the unfortunate real truth of it is that people like him and the other lot and maybe even some people that occupy the business techno side of things they are the future they're legitimately the future because they have the kids in their hands. You think about all those other girls that play within that techno, you know, TikTok techno scene. I don't want to name any names to offend any people, but you know who I'm talking about. All these kind of like really pale looking, dark, you know, haired girls and whatnot, tattoos, colored hair, whatever, that wear scantily clothes. You know, they kind of all look the same. They play the same type of music. They got the kids in their hands. The kids love what they do. Their live streams get, you know, hundreds of thousands of views, sometimes millions. They're flipping sellout venues. People buy tickets to go and see them. It's no surprise that a club like Bergheim, especially post-pandemic, would be trying to lean into that a little bit more because, number one, that's where the youth are at. And number two, they sell tickets. And if you're coming off the back of the pandemic, you need to be able to kind of make sure that the flipping club is, you know, somewhat financially stable and is able to kind of generate money. What's the best way to do it? Booking the kids because you kind of kill two birds with one stone. You don't you don't get blamed for booking the old, old fuddy-duddies. You also kind of promote the youngsters that are coming up and you also make sure that people are going to be queuing and it's going to be a kind of consistent flow of people turning up because they want to see this person who's on Instagram, blah, 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 blah. I think it's awesome. I love it. I think it's all great. I love his energy about it. And I think there's a post here that actually may have been a kind of ghost post that he may have done allegedly we don't know but i feel like his kind of post about it was absolutely hilarious too or whoever kind of posted it kind of trolling i thought this was great off of the back of people not being happy about his set um the post goes as follows it says huge news story developed out of Bergheim. last night as lsdxoxo threatened to destroy the techno universe once and for all with his cheesy pop edits and helena health cleared the main floor again oh man i'm 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 honestly hoping that's not true and that's a joke because I'm a big fan of Helen Half and I really wanted to go and see her play but the flipping flight tickets were just crazy for that Easter weekend but if that's true that she cleared the dance floor then that's really funny because she's somebody a lot of the heads and a lot of the flipping guys that girls and kind of that get it would say is a real true techno person so if they cleared the dance floor but LSDXOXO got people dancing even though he played horrible cheesy you know pop edits Who's the who's the real powerhouse here? Who's the real it person? Come on. Anyway, let's continue. 
The post says as follows. When asked about his selections by RA in 2020, LSD said, Sometimes feelings are funny. You just have to take a moment to make fun of yourself. But Bergheim goers were in no mood for laughing. One local fell to their knees in prayer, wailing, Lord, save us from the TikTok TJs. A few hours later, they were seen in Ben Clock set howling, Praise Jesus Christ for delivering us our Instagram king. <laughs> because unironic or ironically enough, even though Ben Clock is a you know OG of flipping Bergheim and a resident there, he's also very popular on flipping TikTok also. It continues party for the s w m d j seized on the moment calling for immediate removal of lsdxo from all future lineups and a full reinstatement of Burkhine's former glory of quality white techno bros love it as always the future is is never so black and white but house disaster class had one furious techno head suggesting she should apply to make the breakfast moves at the s bar instead <laughs> though house um Ber Berkheim future may be on ice it was lsdxo who quite literally let the dogs out sal solison editor-in-chief of the reasoner reasoner to reasoner big up whoever posted that big up if it was lsdx on a troll that was hilarious i think this post post coming you know playing there with your big head kind of saying maybe your you know big head conceded or just a brat style thing i don't know i think that was awesome triggering everybody by just being good at what you do and playing what the crowd wants is also flipping hilarious i absolutely love it and you know it just kind of reminds me of the kind of the power of the guy overall i've always been a big fan of him in general personally for me i'm one of the people that believes lsdxo xo is a better producer than he is a dj but still it doesn't matter because double threat is still a double threat and you know two of my kind of favorite productions from lsdxo xo definitely would be tracks like code name cotton mouth and what was the other one on that same ep oh oh false idols yeah those two are definitely um, two tracks that i kind of always kind of love from the guy and i've always kind of appreciated and loved in any kind of way shape or form so yeah big up big up big up big up big up big up big up, big up. do you want to die <laughs> Yes. Yeah. 